morning everybody from the beautiful Andorra in a new kit and with a new bike. I'm staying at the Pic Maya Hotel at around 2400 meters of altitude. It's my last preparation towards the Vuelta. It's a short training camp but it's a must after the Worlds. So today on the schedule a four hour ride with the recon of the final of the third stage with the Col d'Ordino and the Col d'Arinsal where the finish will be. So it's a pretty tough stage, higher altitude, everybody will be fresh so there will be a big race going on. Big mistake from the hotel, Lotus Sudal when you're a rider for Sudal Quick Step. Hello! Good morning, Rob! Morning! So, this is the Swanier that's with me for the next 10 days. This is our bike room. Yes. Normally it's a ski room, but in the summer it's a bike room. We will start here. Is it going to water? Yeah, it's going to water. Mechanic, Swanier, boxer. Can you stay out of the room? No, no, no. Nu die veel ook kapot zie je altijd. Ja, is dat wel? I think my feet are getting bigger. Kijk die stretches mee. Hoeveel? Die. So we can change the money ah. for the one euro coins. <laughs> we play a lot of pool in English, pool, snooker. Wow. But you have to pay two euros with one euro coins. So we were struggling a few evenings. We're gonna change 50 euros to one euro coins. Well, well, thank you, eh? No problem. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm not hot for the two more. Let's get it away, eh? Yeah. Vamos. Misschien moet je de hordel achter je steken, anders zou je altijd daar leuk Good morning everyone, I'm Robert Schie. I'm the Swanier now on altitude camp with uh, Remco. Now we are starting with the uh, training. It's last preparations for uh, the Vuelta. It's the first time in Andorra. We are on an altitude of 2400 meters. And it's good for the red blood cells. The higher you are, how more blood cells you, your body is making. Uh, after an altitude camp, your body needs to push more and that's why they come here. If you're not that trained well, you're gonna feel it when you go up to the, on the stairs already. Your breath is it's much heavier. I follow on Veloviur because now in Andorra it's a very beautiful uh, country. It's my first time also, also from Remco, for Remco it's the first time. It's nice to train but the only uh, less comfort is there is one big way from the one side to the other side of uh, Andorra. There's a lot of traffic and it's difficult to follow. And it's a little bit not dangerous, but more risk. I want to be behind him to make it a little bit more safe. In 10 Ks, we start with the first climb. They also do it on the Vuelta, and then we go to the next climb where they uh, have the finish of the build. Congratulations for your Thank championship. You. Rapid, rapid, Diego, rapid. Thanks so much. Thank you. Gracias. Yeche mi neche. This is the best nuga in the world. It's not a lie. It's true. Did you try it already, Rob? Yes, of course. When you I see the snooper. Ride. <laughs> when I ride with the bike, I always with the bike in yeah, the car, bigger. No, no, no. Behind the, the riders. No, 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 no. Nuga, then, just. And then I don't dare eat. So this is the top of Col d'Ordino, like you can see on the plate there. This is the first summit. I think from here it's still like 8, 9k downhill, 10k downhill, and then we have a 10k uphill finish. So it's 20 kilometers from the finish. So uh, important to see this downhill because it will go fast and it will be a bit nervous to go into the final climb. But that's why we do recons, is to check where the dangerous points in the course are and uh, of course where it's important to be in front. And 
also to decide and speak a bit about the tactics in the race. If we make some moves or not, even though it's very early in the Vuelta, it will be an important one. I want to go back to bed. How do you feel after the first climb, Thomas? Tough. Tough? Yeah, in the car? Yes, tough? yes, yes. Situation. Thomas always, oh, the car smells like shit. Yeah, has a problem, I think. I look toxic. <laughs> Sorry, you want a photo? Good luck for the Vuelta. Thank you. There you go. Sir. Voilà. Allez. Vamos. Wat zegt ze in de afdaling, Ik vooral tegen die moet zeggen. Die dong was niet zo goed, hè. Het was veel te lang geweest. Ja? Tot hier de laatste kilometer pas. Is het Kan je dan kan je de andere trollen doen? Hij is niet nog slechtje. Nu wel, hè. Calipo. Zie de red en de white pole? Ik expect dat to be the finish. Moet je het zijn wat of te drinken, man? Uh, we are actually not the first team that started it, but we copy it from other teams because we here in the race. You want a slushy, you want a slushy, and then you think, what is a slushy? It's just because if it's super warm, heat can really take down your performances, and uh, it's more to actually kind of cool down your body temperature. Normal drinks, they heat up pretty fast, and if you make a slushy, especially when it's almost ice, when you take the bidon, then uh, when it heats up, it's still super cold. Uh, yesterday we also tried it and it was like 35, 40 degrees in the valley and uh, the bidons stay cold for like 45, 50 minutes. So that's actually what you need because we often drink two bidons an hour. This is the 6D Energy Lemon and Lime, I think, if I'm not wrong. And uh, yeah, you know Calipo also has like the lemon and, and lime flavor, so it's, it's actually exactly the same. So yeah, that was uh, the recon already. Now we just finished the training with some other climbs. I expect it to be a hard stage actually because it's uh, we come down from the coast so we go all the way up till the first climb it's going to be like 50 kilometers like slightly uphill and then we have a fast descent and then we finish just up there it's also we are here at 1920 meters which is uh, above 1800 which is like the border of the altitude actually where you really start to feel the difference in, in oxygen and also in, in your muscles everything is, is, is more hard actually on altitude. It's going to be interesting to see what it does especially after first day TTT and then the second day already a, a punchy uh, course where I won in Catalonia when I was in front with Primos. It's almost the same circuit so it's already going to be pretty interesting to see those three days. In the beginning of the Vuelta it's going to be pretty tough and nervous. Today had a saai tour van vandaag. It's gewoon zo naar de klim, terug naar de klim, terug en helemaal terug. Is gewoon bellen en volgen niet? De France. Ah oui, d'accord. Bonjour. Et moi, je suis français, mais je vis ici. Ah, d'accord. Merci pour la photo et et bonne chance pour la Vuelta. Ah, oui. So we are here at the top of Arinsal, which is the finish of the third stage in the Vuelta. I want to thank you all for watching the previous video and all the positive comments. I think you all know, after that I became world champion time trial. And just because of that, we have a special giveaway for you. Here it is. It's a real world champion jersey with my name on, worn by myself already. Of course, in the end of the video, I will give you the instructions how to win it. So, see you at the end of the video. Dat dat soms naar na stroms maakt. Eh, ruikt, ruikt. Alright, het is een korte afdaling. Small descent and then we go up Col de Cabus, I think. I've never done it, so first time. Col de Cabus. Nee, niet abuse, hè. En dan zijn ze abuse, is verkeerd. Van Brugge of van Antwijn? Van Rijden, dan zijn we weer weg. Shit. Dat is nog 6 kilometer meer dan nu. Hè. Hij moet nu afzien, van de week heb je gemak. Kom goed, niet meer in zijn. Nou, allez. Nu ik check waar we zijn in de training. Ik zie dat we op een climb zijn. I think 10 k's to go. Every time uh, Remco does some efforts, he puts uh, some music in his uh, ears. Sometimes you can see it on his hands when he touches uh, 
breaks. He is fascinated by music. And then when he go, we go to a descent, he put off his ears because for the safety. So we just uh, did the two mountains. And now uh, we need to keep training. So we do now a call, come back and do another one. And then we stop for a coffee, I think. And uh, I need to remind him to change the billiard and have the coins to the snooker, eh? like you already here. Hey! How are you, Slashy? Yeah. Ola! It's made by Langs de Kampen. Come on! 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 Come You are officially the first other pro rider on my YouTube channel. The one and only Pavel Sivakov. I wanted him in my team, but he chose another team. So actually I should not talk with him, but no, no. he's a super nice guy. A big, big talent. One of the best climbers in the world. I would say so. Hey, hey. I do the introduction, hey, not you. <laughs> super nice guy. Good friends of Lorenz de Plus also, which is also my friend. We know each other already quite a bit. Did a lot of races together. Put his name in your agenda. Je suis en train d'essayer les slushies comme euh, comme oh, ouais, ouais, ouais. C'est la première fois que je fais donc. Slushies are a bit like this. Like sometimes they are hard to squeeze out. Yeah. Stays on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Je vais faire ça. Ah, c'est une bike. Ouais. Tu sens la différence avec euh, l'ancien ou pas Ouais, c'est ouais. 300 grammes de différence. Tu veux quelque chose à manger Non, c'est bon, merci. Rice cake. Ineos recipe from Marek. <laughs> we did the recon. A recon of uh, the stage of Tourmalet. And there was a bunch of goats and they were on the road and I was so scared they were going to attack me. So I waited for five minutes till they went out of the, of the street. So I'm actually a, a pussy when it comes to animals on the road. And, uh, oh no. Uh, you know? Uh, you know? Tof dat er niemand mee hoort. We zitten er zelf aan Water. Remco is coming. Let's hope het stel open. We gaan naar Ask. We just arrived at the coffee stop now. Ramco always loves to have a, a little coffee at the end of the training. We need the coins for the snooker, otherwise we cannot play tonight. Sorry that we are late to the game, we feel. Calor. Mucho calor. Would you like coffee, guys, or mochas? For me, same as always. Oh, you are lucky because I came here to ask if she reopens. <laughs> So this is the second Ineos guy in the YouTube channel already. Oh man, I got you. Oh, well, thank good, you. Oh, really? Good see you. Oh, man. This is the YouTube, eh? Yeah, yeah. You look uh, salty. Oh man. Okay. I saw Powell, then Damon, I think. I saw everyone. Man. Now you. Congrats on the world. Thanks, man. Super impressive. Thanks a lot. Ga je eens kijken wat wat er is om te eten, want we moet hier kijken denk ik voor iets vis. You flat white. Yes. She knows me already. Uh, you can put from him on uh, the same bill. Oh, from, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put together. Okay. Eh? Sit down. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'll bring you in a moment. Yes. We have a question. Can you change uh, coins? We need one euro See? coins. You have? Yeah. I have uh, 50, only 50 euros. The, See? the big in 50 coins. euros. Yeah, it's fine. I need change always. Ah, okay. Good. <laughs> Gracias. Can I have one more? Coffee. Yes, 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 yes. It was really good, the biscuit. You don't want an empanada for home? Yeah? Or a takeaway if it's possible? Takeaway. Recovery meal. Andorra is quite new for me. And uh, the first day I went on a ride with Casper Asbury, my teammate. And uh, he showed me this place. Since then, every day. The best coffee shop. <laughs> exactly. Best coffee shop. I'm going to take one uh, something, you know, also. Thank you. 
So we have our lunch for after training. I'm not gonna eat all four, of course. This is uh, empanadas with spicy beef, you said? Empanadas argentinas. Also from Argentina. Empanadas argentinas. So, Argentinian empanadas with spicy beef. First, we still have to ride a bit. See you, Monique. Good luck with your preps. No, good luck for the water, man. Thanks a lot. Smash it. Two is enough. Otherwise, I will fly up the Are mountain. Are you guys? Yeah. What can you do? 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 Thank you, guys. And thanks, Asun. Because you have it for 2 euros. So you have 5 euros and those 2 euros. 7 euros we're going to wissel. Jongens, toch? We're going to play tonight. We're going to play until the middle of the night. Muchas gracias. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. The slushy is a bit changing in the slushy, man. 10k to the hotel, uphill. See you there. After the training, very important, the recovery. First, small bottle of ketones from Ketonate. Then, of course, the, I always take the protein shake, the whey protein chocolate flavor from 6D. Also very nice. You can do it with water or rice milk, depending on how intensive or long the training was. Today was pretty hard, a lot of climbing in quite a short distance, so I hope it's with rice milk. Rice milk? No, that's with water. What for the I thought it was an easy training today. We did a race back today? No, no. One mistake, not two. <laughs> Otherwise... <laughs> this is the natural effect of ketones. There's something strange going on in the body after it. Now I'm cleaning the bikes. Now we do the TT bike for tomorrow and uh, in uh, 10 minutes I clean the road bike so we have a nice new bike and after that we're gonna make the uh, rice cake I'm gonna make the slushy and then uh, another smoothie for uh, Remco and for that all we start with the massage and I hope then my day is done and then we're gonna play snooker when snooker starts day is done <coughs> another football photo of amazing huh? amazing I love it. What can we do, jongens? Entree! Oh, you again. My Crip and Dora. So the training went pretty well. Also had a very good recon. Let's go through it. This is the Velo Viewer app, which uh, all the, the teams have, where we can check the races on, and especially the stages. So I'm gonna go onto the map of La Vuelta Ciclista a España because that's why we're here for. Uh, it's the third stage, starts in Surya, finishes on Arin Sal. So as you can see, this is the map and the, the route of the stage. And here you can see the profile. So here is the start in Surya. It's pretty close to Barcelona where the first two stages will be. Um, but let's go a bit more into detail. Uh, the start, of course, we didn't recon that because it's all on quite big roads. Nothing special to mention, actually. From here on, in La Seu d'Urgel, that's where we actually start to go up. And as you can see, I think around here is the border of Andorra. So here is Andorra la Vella. That's the most famous city here in Andorra. There will be an intermediate sprint in that city. And then from there on, it really starts to go up. So that's around after, let's say, 118, 17, 117 kilometers. It really starts to go up. Um, this part I already did uh, yesterday, but it was nothing special. Just a very big road and it always goes straight up. Nothing technical. As you can see here, it really kicks up. It's a pretty steep part. I also did it yesterday. And then where we started the course today was here in Canillo. We went up right on the climb and in the race we will come from this road and we will turn left onto the climb. 
So we did all this part. I think here the race will start to be a bit nervous because of course it's um, with about 28, 30 kilometers to go. So we go up on the climb, kilometer 128.1, which means it's only 30 kilometers to go to the finish, from which we have a 6K uphill, well, around 7K I would say. And then it's a pretty long downhill. Uh, and as you can see here again, bonus sprints, which means there will be some seconds uh, to grab on top of the Ordino climb, which is always quite a fight, but I expect the breakaway to still be in front there. And then as you can see, a pretty technical descent, which we did also today. And we also went up there today uh, towards Ordino. And then we arrive here in the valley of La Masana, and then it's actually straight uphill from the end of the downhill, always straight. And from here in Erz, we take the roundabout to the right. It's actually straight. Again, nothing special because the road was pretty wide and big, so there will not be a big, big fight for positioning, but there will be already on the climb before to go into the downhill, of course. It's always a bit nervous to go into the downhill, especially with such a technical downhill, the bunch will be really stretched out towards the last climb. And if you're not in very good position, I mean, you don't have to take it in the first five, but at least in the first 15, 20 to be be a bit comfortable towards the bottom of the final climb and then as you can see the color starts to be a bit more orange and even a bit red in the last part of the climb which means it gets steeper and steeper towards the end and like i mentioned already on training it's above 1900 meters of altitude so you will really feel the effect of not having a lot of oxygen on that final and especially with the long uphill drag from the start of uh, Andorra La Vella till the top of the Ordino climb. The legs will be, feel pretty fatigued and I think it will be a pretty hard stage already after three days. So my opinion, it's not the hardest stage, but with the altitude and the long uphill parts, it will be a very tough stage, uh, but especially the altitude will make it difficult. And um, yeah, fight will be crucial around 1.37 to go into the technical downhill and uh, for sure there we have to be in good position towards the bottom of Arinsal, the final climb. So of course nutrition is very important to recover but also uh, daily massage, sports massage of course, is uh, very important because uh, during training we produce quite some lactate in the muscles and uh, I think it's proven that a massage is pretty helpful to get rid of the lactate in the legs, the glutes, the back, the neck, because on the bike you actually don't really feel it when you're riding, but when you get the massage you really feel all the muscles that you've used during training or during the race. So uh, I'm gonna ask to Europe to explain what you are doing. We uh, help the blood circulation to improve the recovery uh, of, the, of the legs. Take off the tension of all the muscles on the back, on the neck. Uh, certainly if you do the EP bike, yes. you, uh, you have a... Uh, the glutes are very uh, pretty stiff because your back is low, so you use more the, the ass. We also try to take this as an hour of, let's say, relaxation and we try to calm down, peak also with the soigneur about what has happened during training, during the race. For me personally, it's a bit of uh, a moment where I can just share everything and just throw everything out of my uh, mind and body. Not literally everything, but... <laughs> Just everything that pops up in my head I try to get rid of. Can be positive, can be negative. I think it's the perfect time to kind of get rid of the bad thoughts and of the negative emotions. I think it's a, a very nice way to almost end the day because we usually do it before dinner, which is also proven that massage is better before dinner because you're not digesting your food. So the muscles are completely relaxed. There's nothing going on in the body. The first time when you get the massage back, doesn't matter which soigneur it is, every time it really kittles a bit. But kitteling in Dutch is tickling because yeah then the muscles are pretty full of liquid and, and everything and also just they're not smooth so the first time sometimes the massage is really not enjoyable and it even hurts sometimes especially after a, a tough stage or a hard stage to have smooth muscles so i'm calling another special guest wow. here he is <laughs> Allez, introduce yourself Hi. <laughs> So this is Lunes, is the mechanic that was at the track with us to do the, the track testing. He sent me some messages a few days ago saying that all the views and all the positive comments you guys gave are thanks to him. But I'm really wondering because with a face like that it's impossible. <laughs> so I don't believe him. But look, we wanted to tell you thank you for your participation in last video to help with all the testing. Don't get too emotional, I know, because I see he starts to cry. I have to admit, Rob tried something new on me. 
he doesn't use his normal oil anymore, but he uses the same as you do. It's the Morgan Blue race oil. He says that I'm even riding faster with it. I didn't feel it the last days. You didn't use the oil on your legs and uh, world championships on the road, then. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. No, true, correct. I didn't, but but I did on the, on the TT. Eh. Hey, but thanks again for your cooperation, eh? Positive man. What for domme. Allez, have a good evening. He's almost getting farther. Yes. So, good luck with the last days. Goodbye. Have a good evening. Ciao. Ja, mijn kleur. Oh, oh. So, as promised earlier in the video, I'm here with the world champion jersey signed by myself. How can you win this jersey? First of all, subscribe to my YouTube channel. In second place, you have to like this video, of course. And then in third place, you have to comment your Instagram name down below in the comments because this contest will take place on both YouTube and Instagram. So, good luck. After a good and hard training, and the recon of the third stage of the Vuelta, but especially after a much harder task to be able to change our money into one euro coins. We are here at our daily ritual, just play a few games of snooker before going to bed. And I want to thank you all for watching again, but don't forget to like, to subscribe and keep following us. Bam, man.